Okay, folks, we had some increased seismicity at high latitudes yesterday. Fairly large earthquake for this part of the world right in between Greenland and Svalbard there. Looking over at the Philippines, and we're going to zoom in and take the labels off here so it's easier to see. Uh, right in the middle of all of that, uh, all that mass of earthquakes right there, we do have a volcano that's on watch, and with good reason. That entire earthquake swarm is uh, confined to that island. Coming over to the western part of the world right now, we had a giant wave impact a timber ship, uh, affecting some damage and causing it to lose some cargo. In Vermont, they are finding that uh, pretty much all of the fish uh, up there have extra high levels of strontium-90. They have the gall to say it's from Chernobyl. And the bad winter weather that has uh, hit Europe has caused yet another avalanche. This is number eight or nine this uh, winter. KP index became uh, uh, unsettled briefly last night. Uh, the magnetosphere was taking, uh, you know, moderate pressure and some pretty good hits from a solar wind stream uh, pretty much all of the day yesterday, and we're actually still uh, still feeling the effects from that right now. You can see in the yellow there, that's the solar wind speed, and you know it doesn't look like it's jumping around a whole lot, but ambient quiet space weather should be around uh, 300 to 350 kilometers per second. Coming over here, looking at the harp. Uh, flux gate magnetometer and the induction magnetometer you can see that we uh, had been having some disturbances all day uh, the red line is the ionospheric absorption of cosmic rays and as you can see there was a spike uh, much higher than the detector signal uh, which means our ionosphere had to do some work uh, clearly that is the case as you can see we had ionization of uh, 16 megahertz critical frequency that is very very high uh, recorded this last night when the ionosphere spiked uh, it has gone back down right now we do have those dark coronal holes filaments everywhere and although uh, it might look like there's a lot going on in the sun right now the sunspot number is uh, just about on the floor we have no real uh, sunspots to worry about quiet sun folks so that's the news be safe